Okay, so this is an example of how I use a giant Buddha board. Um, I actually found this online. It's actually used for practicing calligraphy. Um, you can get it on Amazon. But what I do is have the students um, write down a negative thought. In this case, um, this person would be writing, I'm dumb. They were having trouble with their homework and so started feeling, thinking negative thoughts and wrote down or their thoughts were I'm dumb. So what we do after they get it written is we go ahead and ask, okay, which bully do you think would be telling you that? And I'll see if you all know the answer to that and see if you guys want to chime in. Um, it is actually labeling Lisa. Labeling Lisa puts the, the labels on everything you do. And so if labeling Lisa is talking to you, making you feel that you're dumb, what evidence do you have that supports that? Well, I can't figure out this math problem. Okay, that's the evidence that supports that you're dumb. Um, do you, is there any evidence that does not support that statement, I'm dumb? Um, it, do you struggle with every math problem or is, it that, is this only this particular concept that you're having, having problems with? Do you have struggles in every subject or is, or is it just math that you're having trouble with? If school maybe isn't your thing, are there other things you are smart at? Are you smart at sports? Are you smart at art? Are you smart at being a good friend? There may be lots of things that you're smart at. And so we go through and, and kind of process. And as we do that, as you can see, um, the words are starting to disappear. And so then I say, what can you say to talk back to labeling Lisa? might come up with saying um, maybe I'm struggling right now but that doesn't mean that I'm dumb at everything I'm smart at a lot of things um, math maybe just isn't my strength um, or you know go away Layla and Lisa I'm not dumb I'm not gonna listen to you um, so as we come up with these these words to counteract labeling Lisa you can see that it does indeed and it is a really cool intervention that kids really can't wait to kind of get up and start writing down and sharing their own negative thoughts. So there you have it.